Everybody, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill, and today we are grilling up these lobster tails on the Weber kettle. Let's go! So our local grocery store had these lobster tails on sale. These are about five, six ounces each. So we're gonna make a few of them. First thing we're gonna do is warm up some butter on the grill. We already got the grill fired up. We are using Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal and we're using the slow and sear without a water pan because we wanna get that temperature up to somewhere in between 300 to 400. Any lower, you run the risk of your lobster meat getting uh, really rubbery and you don't want that. So you wanna cook at a little higher heat. So anywhere that 350, 400, even 450, it's gonna cook these up real nice. And we're looking for an internal temperature. We're gonna go for about 145. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some butter warmed up. So let's get these out of here for a second. Then right on the grill, since we got it fired up, I'm gonna melt some butter in there. I have unsalted butter because I am going to be adding some seasoning to this. Okay, let's get this in this little pan here. If we have to make more, I got another stick here. But first thing, before we throw it on, gonna hit this with some Obey. We're gonna Obey with seafood. It just goes hand in hand. So we're gonna hit this with some here. Season this up. And this is what we're gonna baste our lobster tails with. And then we're also gonna use it at the end to dip it in. So let's get this on the grill. Butter's on the grill melting. Now it's time to prep these. The way I prefer to do it, I know you could chop them in half like Malcolm Reed does. The way I like to do it is I just like splitting it, pulling that meat up and setting the meat on top of the shell. I think it looks, the presentation's always on point. So let's split these open. I have a nice pair of poultry shears here. And then I'm just gonna cut right down the middle. We're gonna do that to all of these. Okay, now the trick to this is you gotta pop this out and you really want that meat to come off of the shell. Looks like this one had a little bit of a fight. It's got some cracked shell in here, but that's all right. I'm gonna get that meat off. And this one was beat up pretty good, huh? And pull it up. And you set it right down on top of the shell there. And you got your beautiful lobster tail ready for cooking. So let's do the rest of these. These lobster tails are prepped. All we're gonna do is give them a quick season. Look at these beauties. These are going to be beautiful and delicious. I'm gonna give it another hit of Old Bay, even though we got some on the grill with the butter. I'm gonna give this a little season here. Perfect, let's go check on that butter, make sure that's melted. Once these go on, it's gonna be real fast. It's gonna cook quick, so we're not gonna have time to mess around. So let's check that butter, make sure our grill's up to temp. Okay, the grill's ready. Let's check on that butter, give it a mix, and then get those lobster tails on. This butter is looking great, ready to go. Let's get these tails on. Tails are on, we're gonna close it up, check it back in about five minutes and we're gonna start probing for temp. We're also gonna look for the, the meat to become a an opaque where uh, it, it looks a little clear right now. You want it to whiten up, get that white meaty look. We're gonna close it up and check in a couple minutes. It's been about five minutes, so let's baste these lobster tails with some butter. Man, look at the color of these things. These are looking great. Some of that seasoned butter is just gonna make this even better. Oh man. And you can tell by the color of that meat, it's that nice, it's turning that white meaty look that they're almost done already. So we're gonna close this up, let it go a few more minutes, give it another baste, and uh, we'll check temperatures in about five minutes. All right, it's been another five minutes. Let's go check it out, see what they look like, give it another baste. We might be getting close to pulling them off. Let's go check it out. These things are looking phenomenal. Give it another quick baste here. 
Oh man, these are gonna be good. Give it a quick temp check here. All right, we're getting close. We're in the high 130s, right around 140, so a couple more minutes and these bad boys are going to be done. We'll be back when we're pulling them off the grill and trying them. These lobster tails are done and they smell and look amazing. Only thing we have to do now is dig into them. Rip this bad boy right out of here. Oh, nice and tender. With lobster tails, you don't need anything but simple ingredients, unsalted butter, and a little old bay. And these things are out of the world, out of this world. Going in for the second bite here. Oh man. Perfect texture, nice and tender and meaty. Guys, try it out, super easy. Cooked for about 10, 12 minutes total. If you like what we did here, please give me a thumbs up. Really lets us know that we're doing something good here. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Until then, we'll talk to you later. Cheers, everybody. Peace.